Hello, my name is Christoph with Quick, and today we're going to look into pivot tables and what to do if they still don't want to sort properly. Let's see. So here on the left side, I have an example of a pivot table that shows wrong sorting, apparently. Uh, I have two years, I have two countries and I have customers within each country. Uh, they should be sorted descendingly, so the largest sales first. So if you look at the settings, I have sorted year by just the number. The country should be sorted by some sales and also uh, the customer should sort by some sales. And it works pretty well here in 2017, but here the sort order gets completely weird. So why is that happening? So if I look at Canada and 2018 alone, the sort order is correct. So why, if I have multiple years and multiple countries, the sort order goes that way? So the answer is pretty simple. It sorts by the totals. So it only looks at this sequence, Chris before Kong, before Fu, before any, and it's always like that. So even if I look at this in, in that context here, Chris before Fu, before any, so this is not what's desired now. Here on the right, here's a solution and this sorts correct. So in the year 2017, the sales of Canada is before the sales of UK. Even the country order is twisted in the 2018 because here UK with 350 is before Canada. And also you can read yourself, the sales of the customers is sorted correctly. So how does that work? Surprisingly, each customer has a distinctive note that does not repeat. So although it reads any, this node here of any is the node of 2017 Canada any. So it knows the parental path, so to speak, and therefore it sorts completely correct. Or in other words, if you clicked on, on this one, you see any three times. It's not just this any or two times in this case, it's two different annies. So let's have a look how this is done. I have prepared a formula in the script, which you can take as a code snippet. Actually four formulas. I'm creating an FX sort two, three, four, five, and this takes two, three, four, five arguments in form of fields to be created as a uh, as a parent track. So if you look at this, uh, the country uh, uses this formula. It says, give me a unique branch in the pivot for country and year and show the country. So the first argument is always the one that is shown. Year doesn't take this because year is just the first. It's just one field anyways, but on dimensionality number three. So on the third branch, it's already customer, year and country. It wouldn't matter if it's country, year. So you could also do it like this. Uh, again, the first one is shown, but it's creating a different combination for all the three fields. And that's why we have any twice. And when I click here, any here is not selected because that's a different parental path, right? That's it. Uh, with that, you can sort the pivot table correctly. If you're interested how this works, here's um, the making of. For each combination of the three fields, I'm creating a hash. That is a unique combination of characters. And I needed a number for it because finally I'm using a jewel. A jewel value is a text plus a number. So I needed to get a number. So I'm keeping only from that hash only the digits between zero and nine and a to f which gives a hex hexadecimal number and i'm converting this to whatever number it is it doesn't matter at all what number it is it's just a unique number for that combination and that's behind this unique branches of the pivot table so with that uh, I hope you can sort your pivot tables correctly in the future and see you in the next video.